And I think we should be live. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. It is 7.30. For those who are joining us for the first time, my name is Ross from Act On This. If you are watching this broadcast live right now, as in at 7.30 on the 27th of April 2015, you will be on the site now. It's www.actonthis.tv forward slash live. If you're watching this broadcast recording anywhere else but actonthis.tv, then get yourself over to the community to join. It's 100% free. Once again, www.actonthis.tv. TV. Now, whether you absolutely love going to castings or whether they still absolutely petrify you, I guarantee you, if you have been to a casting that's been ran by my guest tonight, you will have had absolutely nothing but an awesome time. He's one of the country's biggest commercial casting directors. He's one of the nicest guys in casting as well, and he's responsible hey. for... Not yet. You're not supposed to be in here yet. Oh, sorry. Uh, and he's, he's ruined the surprise. He's not really. You all knew who you were coming to see anyway. Uh, he's responsible for one of the biggest adverts that I think I've ever seen on TV full stop. The new Warburton's advert with Sylvester Stallone. At this point, I normally go, wait a minute, there's someone at the door. <laughs> oh, look who it is. Welcome, Mr. Martin Gibbons. Good evening. Good evening. I ruined that bit, didn't I? Well, you didn't really, to be honest. It wasn't no. really that much of a surprise. They all knew you were here. I'll it give you a round of applause anyway. Very much. It was much better in rehearsal. Yeah, if you did well, we almost didn't. We almost didn't even <laughs> begin broadcasting. We couldn't quite figure out why it wasn't working. Um, so, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Um, thanks so much for joining us for another live broadcast. We're going to be broadcasting for around about the next hour or however long we can persuade Martin to stay online, and however long my front left tooth 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 can handle it I've, I've got incredible toothache but i'm hiding it very very well hopefully um all will be fine um the the kind of uh, structure of tonight is a little different to the broadcast that we've done recently normally i'll like interview a guest it might be an actor or you know a director or something and then i get everyone on twitter to kind of chime in you know at various points um with questions tonight None of that is all about you guys, okay? It's absolutely a 100% live Q&A for you to ask any questions you want on your acting career, any questions about casting, anything at all within reason, Martin, yeah, I reckon? Well, not anything. I mean, I'm, anything. Anything Literally, you want. Anything. Foil, anything. If you want to I ask him out on a date, get dating advice, anything like that, um, it's absolutely fine. Just ask whatever you like. Um, so before we go any further, guys, um, just start tweeting us now. You'll see underneath this video now, if you're on Acts on This, you'll see a little Twitter box right underneath me now. You can um, type your tweets into that, and that's how you're going to interact with us tonight. So ask your questions. People have already submitted questions as well. I've got plenty of those for you here, Martin. But if you want to... Um, communicate with us live then you need to tweet us so start doing that now just actually start doing that so i know that we are coming through loud and clear and um, martin well, i'm excited by this well it's pretty good isn't it it's, it's you know it's, we're innovating yeah. the industry here <laughs> that's what we do that's what Technology. we do hey isn't it great it's amazing. Now, whilst people are tweeting us, or hopefully tweeting us, I'm going to check in a minute. We've got a couple of little things to go through. First up is your charity donation, because yes, at Acts yes. On This, we give every uh, special guest at Acts On This who comes on to do one of these broadcasts 50 quid to give to a charity of their choice. Who's your charity and why are you donating to them? Uh, well, I'm going to give it to the Save the Children um, Nepal Disaster Earthquake Fund. Um, obviously, what's gone on in the last few days just seeing the headlines and stuff coming through is just horrific um and anything that we can do to to help with that cause i just thought there was no way i could choose any other um charity at the moment so um yeah that's why i chose that so it's going to them yeah absolutely i mean thousands of children have been injured you know are homeless and struggling after that you know devastating earthquake on saturday guys so save the children uh, all their teams are out there doing what they can to support and um, i will absolutely donate that 50 quid straight after this it seems like such a a, a a small amount but if anyone else wants to get involved and support the cause you can do you can get a donation in at save the children.org.uk forward slash nepal that's n-e-p-a-l um, so even if you can donate like two quid tonight or a pound or just you know just whatever every little bit will help there so uh, i think it's a fantastic cause um yeah, as a millionaire so... i would give loads more mine but <laughs> at least it'll, it'll, it'll do something to, for somebody i'm sure yeah exactly awesome so let's just check twitter out let's make sure people are hearing us 
and then we will uh, we will begin. We'll try and cram in literally just as much as we can tonight, guys. This is all about the people taking part, really, all about you guys. So just tweet us absolutely whatever you want, um, and we'll get going. Let's have a look. So let's just reload our Twitter, make sure people are coming in. There we go, Peter Revel Walsh. Hello, yeah, Peter Revel Walsh is in Barbados. He's watching with a beer. What, Peter? It's all right, Jeez. isn't it? We've got loads yes. of questions from Peter, so we've no, got, you've got at least ten from him to go Brilliant. through. <laughs> well, how many beers can we sort out in that time? It'll be fine. Exactly. You'll be wasted by the end of this broadcast, <laughs> Peter. Definitely. Uh, <laughs> Sasha says, "Hey, I'm looking at oh, I'm looking at contact. She's getting in with a question straight away. We'll we'll uh, we'll, we'll cover that in a second, okay. Sasha. Good evening for you, um, Kim." Um, Oh, you frozen, mate, but a hilarious point. Well, hopefully I'm not frozen now. <laughs> hopefully I'm back, Kim. That's um, Google servers, if anything. Is, I'll, I'll not take him responsibility. Is that a question? Is it, well, I, answer yeah. that? I don't know. <laughs> Can you answer that? Um, Hayley, um, it's okay. It's working now. Oh, okay. It must have, um, it must have frozen for a few people, but hopefully... Um, we are coming through loud and clear now. And there will be a recording of this, guys, as well. So um, if you want to backtrack, the recording generally is flawless. Um, it will all be down to people's internet connections and stuff if we freeze at any point. So uh, the recording will be online tomorrow or the day after as well. Um, so, yeah, Tim's in. He says hi. So it looks like everything is good. People are um, getting their questions in. We'll give them a few more minutes before we start. Martin, before we do, just yeah. give us a little bit of background on what you've been doing recently and that bread advert that everyone's talking about. Yeah, How did that it, come about? It's just, it's one of those things, you know, you just get asked, you get um, a call from a production company and they um, they ask you, can you do a job? And you just think, yeah, yeah. Well, I don't, then you find out what it is. You say yes first. Yes, I can do the, I can do the job. When do you want it done? What's the job? And um, with that one, it was just, it was a new production company. I hadn't, um, never worked with before london based and they um they just they were filming it up in bolton obviously and so they just called and said can you cast it and i was like yeah what is it and they sent me the treatment and then they were like yeah but you can't mention it's sylvester stallone and i was like oh what can i say it was like well just mention it's a star so in the casting um we were playing it was johnny depp so ah, uh, johnny, okay, johnny depp was right. in the casting but no one knew and we couldn't tell anyone i think I think even the, even the people that got cast didn't find out until they arrived on set who it was. Right, so, okay. Imagine, open the door, boom, Celeste Stallone, hiya, mate, you all right? I'm wow. I'm acting with you today. Um, so, yeah, it was, it, was a, it was a funny job, actually, because, because as you say, I, I couldn't mention it to anyone. So it wasn't like I could, you know, you put a breakdown out and you want to create some buzz because I knew it was Sylvester Stallone, but I couldn't say, so it was just like, oh, yeah, whatever. There's some guy in it going to be yeah, a star in it. And, I, and it's like you say, you, you try and coerce agents into suggesting people, and you're like this. It's it's someone who I think this will be quite big, but you can't obviously go, I, you know, this is going to be mental. And yeah. it's like, so that's alone. He was in Rocky. He was Rocky. He was in Escape to Victory. I mean, mental. The guy is just massive. I would have absolutely, <laughs> yeah, absolutely loved it. So in terms of the, the casting process for that, because you were casting actors in it, but they were also using their own employees as well. What yeah. was the ratio? It was about 50-50, to be fair. The, um, the, if, you watch the, if you watch it, there's, um, <laughs> there's obviously Jonathan Warburton. Uh, yeah, the main man. Uh, I didn't cast him. The Sylvester Sloan. I didn't cast him. Um, then pretty much everyone else, apart from in the bakery scene where they um, where he's walking through the bakery, um, they used real bakeries parts apart from three. I cast three of them. That were obviously the ones that, you know, they wanted a response from as the camera went past. And yeah. then um, the van drivers as well. There was um, all of the van drivers that are used are Warburton's van drivers. So ah, cool. okay. I think that's pretty cool because, you know, it's good that the production you know that they wanted to use people that um that are actually doing it you know a bit of, bit of uh, kudos for them as well isn't it so, yeah i think it's great it's, it's, it's uh, you'd be it's loving nice it if you were yeah. I, was, I was really pleased actually when i watched it i was really pleased with the blend it was good so what is the chinese guy who leans out the car when he's running oh, yeah. goes, hey you cast, I cast him i cast him he is a legend Perfect casting. Oh, he he, he, he almost steals the show for me. Yeah. <laughs> He's amazing. I would just love that result. I loved him. <laughs> when he came in, and I, I was the, the director's, um, I, he basically directed um, Father Ted 
the director. Ah, of that. right, okay. Um, and so um, we, we went when we did the casting. It was. Um, 